Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to 911 Gadgets. In this video, I'm going to show you how to factory unlock a ZTE cell phone. Now this phone is a Cricut ZTE phone. And what we need to do here is, first you'll see, well let me turn it on. I put in a T-Mobile SIM card on this phone. And um, you'll see what it does in just a minute. Okay. So I have a T-Mobile SIM card in there. So it's telling me this device is network locked. You still have one times to unlock the device. So I'm not going to risk it here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Now that I know that it's prompting for a code, I can head over to, um, to my source. Okay, so here we go. We're going to log into our sources. We're going to place an order, IMEI. Now for this one, um, I'm going to type in ZTE. Here's one for AT&T. Here's one for Cricut. There you go. So 0.9 credits. That means it's 90 cents. As you can see, I have $8 up here. Well, Cricut, see, it says Cricut ZTE.9. So let's click on that. And over here to the right, it says this service will unlock devices that are from the factory with 99% success rate. Manufacturer ZTE, carrier Cricut, models all support it. Any status clean or bad support it. Speed 1 to 24 hours. It says, uh, please make sure phone is prompting for a code. If not prompting for a code, do not submit. No refund. All right, so it's fair enough. It, it's, um, it's warning you that you shouldn't submit it if it's not asking for a code. Well, ours was asking for a code. So let's, um, let's go back to it real quick. All right, so we're going to need to put in the IMEI in here. So right here, let's get the IMEI number out of this phone. Let's see, here we go. IMEI is 8696-2702-455-5401. So you would write that number down. Okay, so what you do is you put your number in there and what it does is, so for example, I mean, I mean, I number is eight six nine six two seven zero two four five 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 four zero, and as you can see, the last number is one. It automatically uh, generates that number for you, and it'll fill it in. That um, that kind of makes it makes it like so you don't mess up on the I mean, I number. So let's say your last number was a four. And right here it's filling up a number one that means you probably messed up on some of these numbers over here um so yeah all right so then what you would do is you would hit to play you would uh click place order and this one says one to 24 hours mine was uh, it actually took like maybe an hour so it's pretty accurate it took about an hour, then I got an email that says, hey, we generated the code. So you have the code in the email, or you can also check on order history. <clears throat> so here you have the Cricut ZTE success. That means it went through. And here's the code. <clears throat> okay. So there's the code there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and input that code right in there where, where it was asking for the code. <clears throat> okay so we have the code now um so the code was one you only, remember you only have one time to unlock the device i guess somebody tried to unlock it all right so it's one three eight six eight seven seven 
7704. See what happens. Come on, hit OK. Successfully unlock the device. Nice. Sweet. So now what this means is we can use this phone with any carrier pretty much. Um, so let's just hope that it doesn't have a Google lock. SIM not provisioned. Okay, because the SIM card that's in there is not active. So um, let me hook up to my wireless. Where are we at? This one right here. All right, so. Let's hope that this phone didn't have a Google lock. If it did, if it does, um, I'll just post a link to another video on how to remove the Google lock, also known as FRP. But I'm hoping this one doesn't have it, okay? If it does have it, <clears throat> it's gonna ask me for the Gmail that was linked to this phone prior to the reset. Verify your account. With your Google account, this device was reset to continue signing with a Google account that was previously synced on this device. All right, so yeah, it does have Google lock. Um, at least you guys know how to generate a code for a ZTE. So if this phone didn't have Google lock, we would be in there and would be able to use the um, we would be able to use the T-Mobile SIM card on this Cricket phone. Yeah, so this one actually has Google Lock, so. Stay tuned and I'll, uh, I'll put a, a video on how to remove Google Lock. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time.